Hello Geeks, how are you doing today? Welcome to the mobile application development video series on Flutter and the topic of this video is gesture detection. Well, just like many other things in Flutter, gesture detection is extremely easy. Flutter made it very simple and let's see how we can use that. So here is the building block, our main creates my app which is a stateless widget and in this stateless widget I am creating a material app. Uh, so let me create another app called display also extends from stateless widget and I'll again overwrite the build function which returns the widget and here I'll create a scaffold with app bar I say new app bar uh, let me give it a title saying that new text gesture demo and i'll have a body uh, let me say new text gesture test for example okay so that is my scaffold and i'll create the instance of display in my home of material app let me go ahead and see it in emulator so that I can make sure everything works perfectly. So here is my app which is just loading and you can see that there is an app bar with gesture demo and there is some text called gesture text. Sorry, I made it a small r, hot reload, fine. Now gesture is a thing which you may need for anything. It may be for a button, it may be for a text. So let's see how we can do it for a particular text. Now let's assume that our requirement captures a gesture on this text so if you are doing something on this particular uh, text area i want to capture a gesture how i can do it okay to have a gesture in this particular text area we need to put this text widget inside the gesture detector widget so what i will do is that i'll create new gesture detector okay in this particular uh, widget i'll have child as this particular text widget okay now let me just go ahead and hot reload it nothing changes because gesture detector uh, doesn't change the display what i now did is that this thing is capable of taking care of gestures so one of the very famous gesture detector is on tap okay so let me just go ahead and implement it uh, let me just print it tapping on text okay okay now let me just go ahead and do a hot reload okay and i am tapping it over here look the print is coming over here tapping on the text tapping on the text so here is how you detect the gesture on this particular text you can detect the same gesture on anything it can be a button i have just used text for simplicity purpose even on the drawers you can detect the gestures one thing people generally do with tabs is to display a snack bar so let me just display some snack bar over here so i can say scaffold of context dot so snack bar i'll say new snack bar content will be let's say new text uh, tapped okay but i cannot use this snack bar over here this is one important thing which i wanted to tell you we cannot do it in a same widget where scaffold is actually created we should be doing the same in some child widget so let me create some child widget uh, d2 extends stateless widget d2 is display to just for sake of it i am giving a name i'll again overwrite the build function build context ctxt and what it will do return new uh, it will return the new gesture detector okay and here i will say new d2 okay now let me just go ahead and do a hot reload okay now if i press this you can see a snack bar coming over here as tapped press this snack bar coming over here as tapped if we use the same thing over here 
you will get an exception. So you always make sure that if you have to show the snack bar, you create a child widget which is called from the scaffold body. It cannot be done over here. Okay, be it be stateless widget or a stateful widget. Now, this is the one thing which I have captured a simple text, but I want something more than a simple text. So, what I can do is that in the child, I can create a container. In fact, okay, in this container, child will be this uh, gesture text. Okay, and I can create some decoration uh, which will be let's say box decoration and i want to put a color as uh, orange for example okay and let me just go ahead and do a hot reload you can see that there is a box container came over here so you know the area where gesture is actually supported even here it will be supported in this particular area and if you are not happy with this being placed here what we can do we can put it inside a center widget okay okay let me just go ahead and do a hot reload you know it came into the center okay now when you are detecting the gesture there are many things you can detect it's not only on tap there are something you can detect as on double tap uh, let me just create a snack bar over here and say double tap i did the hot reload if I am tapping once over here, I see tap and if I am tapping double tap, you will see double tap comes into picture. Single tap, tapped, double tap, say double tap. Okay. There are many more things which you can capture over here. One example will be let's say one tap cancel. What if I cancel my tap? So uh, let's say I say cancel tap hot reload and if I am tapping it over here but I am not releasing my mouse button I go here and reject it's a cancel tap tapping it here go here cancel tap there are more options like this you should go ahead and try about that so this is all about gesture detection I hope I was able to explain about gesture detection and how you can use the same thanks a lot guys thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe thanks a lot